like a hell cut. Before we get started, I have a favor. If you enjoy my content and want to see me continue to improve in both quality and size, please check out my Patreon linked in the description. Any amount helps and it is greatly appreciated. There are so many rewards for each level of donation, so go check it out. Now back to the video. Hey guys, this is Matthew Avenger. Welcome back to another Minecraft snapshot. Today we're in 1.16.2 pre-release 1. So this is the pre-release snapshot that'll be before 1.16.2. Uh, after this, we should be getting into the uh, 1.17 news, which at this point it could be the mountain update. It could be another minor update. Who knows at this point because they really haven't told us, but I do think it's mountain update. But this update, there are a couple changes. There are a couple of accessibility features that have been added. So if we go into accessibility settings, we can now change uh, distortion effects. So normally if we were to uh, slash effect, um, give myself nausea for uh, five, five, let's just say. Normally you would, well, I, I might need to actually change the amount of time it lasts. Um, normal nausea. We'll do this, but if we go into the accessibility settings, instead of shaking your screen like that, the lower you have it down, the more of a, instead of shaking, it will have like this green border around your screen that will just get worse and worse and worse and worse. And this is like at its maximum potential because we have it at uh, nausea, whatever. But I believe if we do actually go ahead and go to uh, 255 as the max, it might increase. No, it's exactly the same. All right, well, so yeah, the accessibility setting basically just uh, makes it to where uh, you can survive that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the back on because I do like the nausea effect for... Uh, it also does work on uh, nether portals. So if I were to go to uh, game mode like survival, um, go to the portal. Doesn't have the disorient effect, which is good. Um, I, I'm actually really glad that change went through. Um, there's a couple other in the settings options that have been added. You can now change a chat delay. Um, you can, you can change your chat delay all the way up to six seconds, which is, uh, pretty cool. Next is a minor change. Um, chains can now be placed sideways, which is, uh, quite cool. However, unfortunately they don't tee towards each other. So if you place them on top, um, or beside each other, they don't tee towards each other. They do just go sideways. Lamps also don't force a T. I feel like that could be a minor change that they could do, but then again, I'm not Mojang, so I'm not sure what their plans or anything are. But yeah, that's that minor change. Uh, there's a couple of changes dealing with the nether up, up as well. So let's say, let's get, let's get rid of, we were to go get a uh, fletching, fletching table, and then illager. I can't press V for a good press a villager and press this and then we were to uh, take him to the nether portal well he's gonna be complicated about it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, force one in right here throw him in here he is supposed to lose his profession but for some reason he doesn't I'm not really 100% sure why but he is supposed to lose his profession um, clearly there's a bug with it that prevents it from working, but oh well. Another thing is Endermen were, are no longer actually able to place, um, blocks they picked up on bedrock because in the nether, uh, Endermen can get up here, can somehow teleport up here. And if there are blocks placed up here, mobs are now actually able to spawn. So if I press stone right here, mobs will start being able to spawn. They cannot spawn on bedrock, but the second uh, Enderman puts one there, they can start to spawn. So it's a good change to prevent uh, overpopulation happening on the top of the world. The next thing is to mine carts um, that have chests in them. You have a mine cart with a chest and then a uh, piglin. They will actually aggress you if you uh if the chest is here. I need I need uh rails. If there's a chest here, place him and then switch to uh, travel mode. He 
he begins to aggress me, which is ever so slightly unfortunate. Yeah, so he will now attack you if you go into a uh, minecart chest. So you, you can't sneakily use that as like your uh, system of being able to get into inventory. Um, so yeah, if you open or destroy it, too bad. So sad. Nothing I can do about it. Outside of that, there's not much actually in this update, uh, in the snapshot. I mean, of course, this is a pre-release snapshot right before the actual one comes out. Actually, let's go ahead and show that off too. If I were to uh, get my axe into my main hand or my sword into my main hand, I'm not sure it breaks it quicker. Um, and um, you'd aggress me too. You don't scare me. All right, but yes. Yeah, so that's pretty much all for this snapshot. What do you guys think? Are y'all ready for the mountain update whenever they do decide to start releasing snapshots and you know, um, actually talking about it? I sure am. I can't wait for 1.17, even though we just got 1.16. I, I, am I impatient? A little bit. But yeah, so feel free to tell me what your opinion is in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Follow me on my social skills channel. Go to Discord, join the conversation on Patreon if you feel like supporting me. That's a venture. Have a nice day. That was a bad idea. Stay safe. Peace out. Uh oh.